So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can make use of Python in order to get data from InfluxDB and also how you can use Python to export the data to MySQL. So right now I have a server CentOS 7 and on this server I already have InfluxDB installed and I also have Telegraph installed. So what Telegraph does is it populates system related data to InfluxDB. So if I connect to InfluxDB and if I type use telegraph then it is going to connect to telegraph a database and then I'm going to say select star from CPU and let's limit to it to only two records okay so now you can see we have a table which is called CPU and this is the data which is available in a CPU table of course it has more data and we are limiting the query to show only two records Okay, now let's say this data we want to uh, get using Python and then we want to export this data to MySQL table. Okay, so I do also have MySQL installed on this server as well. And in order to, you know, save the time, I have already written the program. So I'm just going to explain the program to you. Okay, so I have tried to keep the program very easy and simple so you don't face any problems. So first thing is we will need two modules for this action. One module is SQL Alchemy and the second one is InfluxDB. Okay, so SQL Alchemy is going to help us to connect to MySQL and then InfluxDB is going to help us to connect to InfluxDB. So first thing what we are doing here is we are importing all the modules and then in the step two we are creating the required you know, connection to connect to InfluxDB. So we have a variable which is called client and then we are uh, connecting to you know, the server where InfluxDB has been installed. So in this case, since InfluxDB has been installed on the same machine, so that's why I have typed localhost. But in your case, it can be you know, the IP address of the host where InfluxDB has been installed. And also here you need to provide the port where InfluxDB has been installed. And then we are switching to the database which is called Telegraph. So as you saw here in the command as well, uh, that we the first thing which we have ran is use telegraph. So the same thing which we are doing through Python as well. Okay, so we are connecting to telegraph. So uh, if you follow the step number one and step number two, you should be able to successfully connect uh, to InfluxDB. So now we are going to move on to step number three. So in step number three, we are running select star from CPU. So we are going to get all the data related to CPU. So here also we have ran select star from CPU to get all the data from CPU. Of course, we have limited the result here to only two records. And in actual program, we are not going to do any limit. So that's why it is going to return all the results uh, from that table. And then we are going to assign this result to data frame. Okay, so we are going to say results and CPU. And this result is going to, you know, then basically uh, create a value which is in the form of data frame and then it is going to get assigned to data frame now if I move to step number four in step number four what we are doing here is we are just getting rid of time zone you don't really need to you know do this uh, you can just do it if you uh, want to get rid of time zone if you don't want to get rid of time zone you don't really need to do this step okay so I'm doing it because I want to have clean data in my SQL table so now we are going to move on to step number five in step number five we are connecting to my SQL so notice the syntax here so along with the syntax uh, notice that in the username we are providing name of the user and in password we are providing name of the you know whatever your password is and in the database you need to provide the name of the database where you want to connect and one more important thing here is that here I have provided localhost because MySQL is installed on the same machine. In case you have MySQL installed on a different machine, then you need to give uh, the complete IP address or the host name here. Okay, then only this connection is going to work properly. And then in step number six, what we are doing is we are exporting all the data which is available in the data frame to a table which is called CPU matrix. And also notice one thing here is that here we are saying if exist then replace okay so if the data already exists in this table then it is going to replace that 
uh, you know data with the new data now rather than replace you may also use append based on you know whatever the use case which you have but in my case it makes sense to just replace the data okay so now you can run this program and once you run it it's going to say program completed and now we can just go back here and I'm now going to connect to MySQL so for that I'm going to use MySQL hyphen u and name of the user and password of the user and then we need to provide name of the database to which we want to connect hit enter and now you can see we have connected to MySQL and now I'm just going to run select start from CPU underscore matrix and also we are going to limit the result to 2 okay so now you can see we already have data in CPU matrix uh, table in MySQL so you have seen how easy it is to you know, get the data from InfluxDB and then keep it in a data frame and then export it to MySQL. Since now the data is available in a uh, data frame so you can export it to Excel or you can export it to CSV using the data frame syntax uh, to export it to you know, uh, whatever the target which you want to export it to. So hopefully the program was useful. If you have any query, do write in the comment section. I'll be happy to answer. Thanks for watching.